simultaneously on Mr. Young. You must have created some kind of hair growth formula. <laughs> I want to talk to the hair growing genius, and I'm guessing it's that guy rocking the Fu Manchu. Your, your... Preston Pickles. Like I told that guy. I'm a huge fan of your infomercials. What's your favorite? The tan <laughs> sham? No. <laughs> <laughs> the condiment cufflinks. Regular or Dijon? Dijon, please. Disposable, germ-free handshaker. Or the Preston Pickles pit filter. It distills my sweat into fresh drinking water. With your hair formula and my marketing genius, together we'll make millions, millions, I tell you, millions. Millions? Millions. I tell you, millions. Oh, this is bad. I needed hair today to be a big seller. Now how am I gonna pay off that lawsuit for my beef jerky pants? <laughs> I'll be ruined! Ruined! <laughs> oh no! I'll check his pulse. <laughs> and now on Mr. Young... Where's my office again? This map of Western High is of no use to me. Wow! <laughs> Derby, what are you doing? I was napping. I have shock and I figured it was canceled. Why? Because Mr. Manx lost an arm and a leg? In that real estate scheme? And decided to end his life? Here at Finnegan? and moved to Africa to help children? Where he was attacked by a lion? What, that's the end of the story, he's dead. That's terrible. I was enjoying that story. Anyway, shop class is not canceled. You have a new teacher. Mr. Pickles. Derby, nice to saw you. Saw me? Did I say saw? I meant... Saw. <laughs> he seems nice. Anyway, I'll be in your hammock. and pickles you're my new shop teacher yep how you been good i bet you've been better than i've been i was ruined by that whole hair today debacle ruined ruined i tell you ruined i lost everything i had to take this job as a high school shop teacher i've been living out of my car and eating nothing but beef jerky pants i'm down to this last pair of shorts you don't blame me for any of that do you? No. Old news. Preston Pickles does not hold grudges. He doesn't? Not this guy. You think if I'd held grudges, I'd have taken a job where I'd have to see you every day? <laughs> Probably. You couldn't be more wrong. Why would anyone want to be this close to their mortal enemy? <laughs> mortal enemy? Figure of speech. Like, bane of my existence. Or, person I'm going to kill. <laughs> wow. You'd think you'd never seen a man eat his pants before. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> New girlfriend, Derby? Girlfriend? Don't put any ideas in her head. We're just kissing. <laughs> Why are you kissing a pig? I found out one of my teachers is plotting to get rid of me. What? Peter and I were just chatting about possibilities. <laughs> anyway, that still doesn't explain the pig. <laughs> or the kissing of the pig. You call yourself a scientist. <laughs> a lot of diseases come from pigs. 
and I'm trying to get a disease. If I'm sick, I don't have to come to school, and Mr. Pickles won't be able to hurt me. The pig's name is Mr. Pickles? No. My shop teacher's name is Mr. Pickles. This isn't a boy pig. I wouldn't put a boy pig in a dress. That'd be weird. <laughs> Mr. Teeter, can we talk about this? Our school mascot is a fried chicken. Show. It sends an unhealthy message. I mean, just look at our track team. Well, they don't win a lot, but the end of your banquet is very well attended. There's no way I'm going to that shop class. Derby resistance is futile. Actually, it's the force that tends to oppose motion until it is released. Oh, <laughs> oh good. Derby. <laughs> Your timing's dead on. <laughs> I'm making you a present. And you're going to wrap it in that box? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm telling you, Pickles is out to get me. Uh, yes, he threatened you with a table saw and measured you for a coffin, but that was yesterday. <laughs> That's true. He hasn't tried to hurt me all day. In fact, he gave me this apple. <laughs> Derby, that's going to explode. In my mouth with flavor? I bet you're right. <laughs> ah, this is mealy. <laughs> I told you that man was evil. <laughs> Mr. Tater, you got hit by the blast? Oh, no. This is my new mascot idea. Charbroiled chicken. <laughs> Nothing? OK, back to the drawing board. <laughs> See, I told you Pickles is out to get me. <sighs> we'll settle this once and for all. I've invited him here to take a polygraph test. My life is on the line. You're going to test him on geometry? <laughs> A polygraph is a lie detector. It uses voice, stress, pulse, and sweat production to determine whether or not someone is telling the truth. Ooh, ask him if this shoe iron is really a $200 value. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It is. Pickles is on his way. Hi. Relax. I did not just tear off my skin. This is a skeleton costume. Oh, phew, because I was worried. <laughs> Portable doorbell, which eliminates the painful task of knocking. Of course, you should also get my doorbell ringer, which eliminates the painful task of pushing a doorbell. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, Mr. Pickles. I was hoping as a fellow inventor, you might be able to help me test out my lie detector. Pie detector? You're too late. It eliminates the painful task of finding pies. Hmm? <laughs> Actually, I said lie detector. I'm going to ask you a few basic questions just to make sure the machine is working. Shoot, I have nothing to hide. Except my lawyers say I can't talk about the Preston Pickles teeth whitening hammer. <laughs> okay. Will you please state your name? The name's Preston Pickles. That's odd. I'm not getting a reading. All right. What's your occupation? TV pitchman turned high school teacher. Like I always say, children are our future. Consumers. <laughs> the machine's not registering any fluctuations in voice stress. Do you always talk in that same voice? Yes, I do. It makes everything sound fun and exciting, which is why I'm never asked to speak at funerals. <laughs> OK, but it's also not registering a pulse or any sweat production. Well, that I cannot explain. <laughs> Puzzling. Anyway. Here. 
I need to get back to killing Derby. <laughs> Great. Your lie detector didn't work. Now we'll never know if he's out to get me. <laughs> help! Help! Mr. Pickles, what are you doing? Nothing. Stop it! Your hands are around Derby's neck! No, they're not. See? <laughs> Gotta run. You all right? No. Pickles is never gonna stop trying to get revenge. He was the world's greatest inventor, and now, thanks to me, he's nothing. That's it. He'll back off if we invent a new product that will make him millions. Millions? I tell you millions. <laughs> There's only one way to react to an idea like that. Echo, I considered what you said about the mascot costume sending an unhealthy message, and I agree. You're pretty smart for someone who gets their education here. But you're still a bucket of fried chicken. Nope. Now I'm a chicken strip. Chicken strip? If you say so. finish my first number. <laughs> At least they're not eating their chicken anymore. Okay, we need to come up with an invention for pickles that will get them off your back. That should be easy, since I'm an infomercial prodigy and you're a genius. I was going to say here to assist me. <laughs> Most infomercial products are aimed at housewives, senior citizens, and farm animals. <laughs> you don't have to keep working out. You're beautiful the way you are. I like a little meat on my pig. <laughs> my point is, there's an entire untapped market. High school students. Think of all the amazing products we would use every day. The textbook pillow. <laughs> It looks exactly like a textbook. No, it doesn't. Your teacher will never know. Yes, he will. <laughs> the locker shower. Do you think you can invent a locker shower curtain? Tired of bullies stealing your lunch? They'll never know where it is, thanks to hide a lunch. Simply place your lunch bag in the patented hide a lunch camouflage system. And your lunch is safely out of sight. It's in that bag. Or is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. The unerasable pencil. So like a pen? Derby, none of your ideas are going to work. <laughs> what? Sorry, I was just reading. <laughs> Derby? Hola, muchacho. Derby, I know you're afraid of Preston Pickles, but you can't run away and hide in Mexico. I'm not running away to Mexico. I just quit school to get away from him and got a job at El Taco Bendito. You don't have to quit school. Pickles is working in the wood shop. I bet you right now he's coming up with his next great invention. Hey, Mr. Young, check out my next great invention. <laughs> the Derbinator 3000. See? A Derby Terminator, hence the name Derbinator. Derby not included. Ay, Dios mío. Wait a second. I know who you are. Someone who works at El Taco Bandito. <laughs> I was thinking of going there for a celebratory Jimmy Janga right after I end Derby's life. <laughs> Do you 
know how late they're open? I don't speak English. I just said that in English. That's all I know how to say. I don't speak English. And that's all I know how to say. That's it. Only that. Nothing else. Anyway, gotta go. I'm on my lunch break. Derby! Only I'd use the hide a lunch camouflage system. For not written my name in unerasable pencil. Prepare to feel the wrath of the Derbinator 3000! Mr. Young, I'll see you at the staff meeting on Thursday. Get breakfast, because I'm bringing my lemon squares. No! Wait! Why didn't you spend your time in creative energy on a real invention? I mean, who would buy a machine whose only purpose is to get rid of me? Although, if you're successful, cancel my order. Chicken wrap? That doesn't look like a whole wheat robe. Actually, I did some research, and it turns out that the healthiest type of chicken is skinless chicken. Oh, 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 stop it! He's not only skinless chicken, he's free range. Get back here, Derby! You can't hide from the Germinator 3000! It comes fully equipped with the latest derby recognition software and tracking technology. Aha! Found you! You were just talking to me. You described how the whole thing works. Found you! Adam, you've got to stop him. He's trying to germinate me. If you want to get to Derby, you're going to have to go through me first. Oh, well, I guess you could go around me. Get away. Uh-oh. And now, I'll squeeze you. Ha! Nice try. Evenly sliced cucumbers really spruce up this otherwise pedestrian salad. <laughs> Miss me. Wait! I had ham this morning. How about the salami? <laughs> Thank you. Stop! Don't you see what you've invented here? Yes, a machine that rids the world of derby. It also makes fresh squeezed juices, tasty salads, and delicious sandwiches. <laughs> this isn't a bad last meal. <laughs> Needs a little mustard. Say, Preston, do you still have those condiment cufflinks? <laughs> I'm Preston Pickles. You may know me from the shoe iron, the portable doorbell, and various class action lawsuits. But that's not why I'm here today. If you're like me, your kitchen is probably cluttered with nearly hundreds of appliances. Well, say goodbye to all of them. <laughs> Thanks to the space-saving KitchenAider 3000. It's a juicer, it's a vegetable chopper, and it's a sandwich maker, all in one. Here comes my partner, Chef Derby, to demonstrate. Does this thing have a break? You'll have plenty of breaks. Uh-oh. Thanks to all the time, the KitchenAider 3000 will save you. And it's yours for only 700 easy payments of $9.95. Shouldn't I have had a lesson on this thing? Oh, oh no. Derby, I'll get you for this. So, are you?
our new mascot is a bald man in a sweater vest? Because that's already Western High's mascot. That mascot creeps me out. Anyway, Echo, I've given up. Health and sports just do not mix. What? Yeah, I said you creep me out. Look at you. Okay. I see where this is going. But I'm not interested in a fight. Violence and sports just do not mix. <laughs> I knew it! Sportsmanship and sports just do not mix. Mr. Tater, get off Mr. Tater. Thanks, everyone. You chased them off. You're good people. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Stop it. Stop it.